Hello there people of the internet, my name is Owen and welcome to this quick brand new video here on Blib. Um, an update on fuming for the weekend. Well, it's not good. It really isn't good. Uh, we found some major, major rust in the rear quarter panel which is on this side here which I'm going to show you in a second. And we found some surface rust in the boot, nothing too terrible, but I have tidied it up. You're probably looking at a photo of what I found originally. And I'm now going to show you what it looks like now. I've treated it a little bit, but I need to get some... Uh, I need to get a grinder just to sort of clean the rest of it up. It's come up pretty well with a rust protectant, so that is good. Um, and now if I just turn on the flash, let's have a look at the horrific sight we have on this side. So as you can see, uh, I've put some rust treatment on this as well, but you can probably already see it. That is a fatal part of the car right there. And it continues on all the way around there. Uh, and that ain't good. So we need to sort that out at some point. The rest of the carpet is still in the car as well as the sub, which is in the passenger seat at the moment. The car's been run and it's perfectly fine. We've got the old small tyre on the buckled wheel and we've got two fresh tyres on the back. However, I noticed something with the front tyre as well, which isn't good considering the MOT is next month. Now the tyre on the outside seems fine until, I don't know how well you can see this, I'll have to grab the other end of the phone to show you this. I don't know how well you can see, but it's kind of bald on the right hand side of the tyre. Uh, I'm fairly certain that is going to be an MOT failure, but they may be kind and just leave it as an advisory, in which case, the car's that old, I'm really not bothered if it comes with an advisory, so long as it's uh, nothing to do with those bearings again. I swear to God, if I get uh, an advisory for the bearings, I'm just going to get them straight up changed straight away, I don't even care after the last episode with those bearings. Such a pain in the ass. Uh, I've tidied up. Oh, for goodness sake, stupid. Uh, I've tidied up the um, the neon lights underneath. I haven't tried them yet. Now, this is one thing that's bugging me. I also don't think I've got enough cable to run it through right now. Uh, but hopefully, on another occasion, we can get that done. Uh, now also, I need to sort some under ceiling bits underneath the car here, but I, uh, I don't know how well I can show you, but I've done some of the, uh, the sill last time. Now we can see it, it looks a lot better than what it was, you can see where it finished up. It was just a tidy up job in the first place, to be quite honest with you. Um, I did do it half on the other side. I've jacked the car up so that I can do the other side a little bit, just to sort of tidy it up a little bit. And as you can see, this quarter... Uh, <laughs> can't really see that well. This quarter's alright, but I have a theory here. And I, I want your advice on this, guys. Does that look like... Will it be in black there and normal here? Does that look like these sills have been done before? And I noticed that with the other side because it's in such a weird way. Like if I go back over here and have a look, you can see that black stuff is still around that area. And it's such a square cutout. You can see what's black. And you can see what's just normal under seal. So I have a suspicion 
So that's been there for a while, longer before I bought the car. Uh, and it's rotten there again. Now, I know one person might hate me for doing this, but I'm actually bringing Dean back to the car channel. Uh, and the reasoning for that is because last year when the course was going for its MOT, he also did some welding on the car. And it actually did pretty well. Now, as you can see, it's starting to flake just a little bit there. But I probably didn't put enough protection on there, if I'm quite honest. But this being thin metal right here where my finger is, and this being solid metal, that ain't budging. Not anytime soon, it ain't, anyway. I think that just needs a clean up and a bit more of a bit of paint, if I'm quite honest with you. It's nothing too significant, that. So I can live with that for now. Some of you may be asking, why am I doing this on the cheap? I.e. why am I doing welding on the cheap and etc. Not doing it properly. Well, the answer to that is this. Eventually, this car will be going in for a respray. It may take a while, it may take a couple of years yet. Um, but this is just to keep the car going for now. I'm nursing it till I can treat it and actually get the car resprayed. Because it really does need a respray. I mean, this boot is starting to get on my nerves. Nothing wrong with the boot, it's just the wrong damn colour. Um, but I've also got rust, which I've shown you in a previous video, on the bodywork. And I need to get some stuff done. Better than what it is, basically. So I know this is going to be a short video, halfly unedited, um, explaining to you what's going on with fuming. I mean, fuming runs fine, the engine is okay, it just needs uh, a tune-up basically, it needs a service for it being sat, as well as it needs new HT leads, but otherwise the car drives and stops okay. Up until a certain extent, because we need to sort out the rear brake shoes uh, and get the handbrake working, because right now it's just sat in park, because I have no handbrake. Once those items are done, I can then take it for an MOT closer to the end of next month. And once I've done that, if the car passes, I'll be treating the insignia to some four new tyres for once. Because the tyres on that car, you can you can feel them. It's a good car to drive, but you can feel the road surface quite badly. So it needs doing and needs addressing. Um, so we're going to go and get that sorted at a later date. So anyways guys, I want to thank you guys for watching all these videos I'm doing on Fume and it really is humbling to see some comments of, uh, of me keeping the little course of B on the road and trying to trying to keep it going uh, in a general basically and uh, it's good to hear that some some of you guys are liking the content that I'm doing and how open and honest I am to, uh, to you guys basically. I know we're only at the time of making this video 422 subscribers but I really do appreciate every one of you. And I hope that we can grow this channel even further with Fuming being the ultimate car in the group at the moment. And um, Slipstreamers is doing pretty well, as, as also. Uh, that's on 265 members at the moment, which is pretty good considering we only started that a couple of months ago, well, a month or two ago. Um, but uh, I want to thank you guys all for watching this video. And I want to thank you for watching the videos of Fuming thus far in the unit. Hopefully we can get her out soon and go for a nice decent drive together uh, and actually go for a full tank of fuel for once instead of going on 